All in. And away they go. Got away to a good start with Benelong points getting out nicely. Pembroke pushes forward at the outside. The charioteer has the inside rail and goes to make his presence felt. Just over length away to Western Jack who races away in fourth. American hashtag Gimme a Diamond are together with Valerian Sword and the black and green colours racing one from last. Dashing Legend is the trailer. Got a lot of work to do as they made their way through the corner of the track towards the final 600 metres and Pembroke bust a gut to get to the lead in front by two. Benelong Point backed out, races away in second. Then third place is the Charioteer, kept company by Western Jack, the yellow sleeves and the green cap. The Charioteer off the bridle at the top of the straight. Gimme a diamond, swings in fifth. Then comes Valerian Sword, dashing legend, American hashtag. Unlikely winners with 300 metres left to run. Pembroke in front, Benelong Point second. The Charioteer at the outside and Gimme a diamond, full of running towards the far side. Gets on terms as well. Western Jack is next. Gimme a diamond attacks as Pembroke comes comes battling back Benelong Point at the outside but Gimme a Diamond pulls away late. Gimme a Diamond has beaten Benelong Point. Third goes the way of Pembroke and then came the Charioteer. So the winners in the Barna Silks, the white blinkers towards the left-hand side, black sleeves and yellow cap from behind midfield. The pace was on, probably worked into the favour of number two, Gimme a Diamond, but always finished nicely towards the inside. Took him a while to actually get into the lead once he looked like he was going to put it to bed a long way out. Took him a while, but he eventually got to grips, powered away late to get the better of them. It been a long point second, so two, four, one, and then the fourth position goes the way of number eight, the charioteer who ran like he needs further and uh, could still develop into winning a few in time. The place accumulator starts in race number two and that gets underway at one o'clock. Well, it's the champion yard of last season who gets off to a flying start in the brand new season, and that's that of Gavin Smith Racing as they come through with newcomer Gimme a Diamond to take the victory. I've got Joseph joining me here. He's collecting the World Sports Betting Groom's check of 1,500 rand for fellow groom John, who's seeing to his charge at the moment. John, thanks so much. Always greatly appreciated that 1,500 rand. And we're welcoming, welcoming none other than Craig Zaki into uh, the winner's circle. Been a while since you've been in the Eastern Cape. You haven't lost your neck. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks Nadine. I think the last time I was here, we still had to show COVID certificates and <laughs> sign in. So it's been a minute, but uh, she's uh, glad to be back. Uh, uh, you actually start missing places after a while and I mean, the weather's great, so I uh, can't complain. You, you hit us on a good day, just to let you know. <laughs> There's been a couple of bad ones leading into it, but how is, how's, it, how's life treating jockey Craig Zaki? Oh, very good. good. Um, um, in a very good position, as everyone knows, coming to this new season. So I'm looking for, forward to a good season and hopefully a big one to tick off. Fantastic. Good to hear goals to achieve. And you've started off the right way. This fellow's new to the yard. And um, you actually, I see, were familiar with him quite some time back, so things could have changed. But uh, he, he looked good going down. Yeah, he felt good, Nadine. Um, I actually thought he was a horse he was going to come tank quick and went quite, quite quickly. And... The first time I rode him, he ran a good third, but you know he's a thinker when, he, when he's about yeah. to attack horses, he starts shying away and throwing in the towel. And then the second time I rode him, uh, Mr. Sam opted for the blinkers and I think we just got the trip wrong. It was a mile. He did it way too hard in front and he was bound to stop, but he hasn't been far off of late and I think now that he's in PE, he's going to have a nice little career. Oh, that's really good to hear. Getting off to a good start once again. Well done. Thanks, Nadine. Um, couldn't have done it without Mrs. Mr. Smith. So all credit to him and his team. They've given me some good opportunities today. So I'm glad I've started off uh, on a winning note. Yeah. Well done to Mr. Barner. Always a pleasure in his colours. And to my sponsors, Maritz Fantinia Vokabostrov. Thank you. Fantastic. Well done. There you go, Craig Zaki, back in the winner's box here in the Eastern Cape. As you heard from him, it has been a while. And glad to see he's not lost his touch. Gavin's joining me now. And Gav, you had positive comments for both these runners. You got the exactor, so you were spot on there. Having a quick word with Dean now prior to chatting, though, the concern was the change to Polly. I chatted to you and we we're still racing on turf. I saw Craig was a bit green and not the horse. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Um, no, he's got quite a big action, and uh, you know, at home it takes a little bit of time to get mm. going as well. Um, so yeah, yeah, we had the blinkers on him, and I, I just think 
the way he was ridden patiently and, and the early pace was very fast and very strong. Hopefully they were going to come back to him, which they did. And um, I'm, I'm just thrilled for him and yeah. for Ben Along to show his first uh, poly run he didn't show. He didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah. Kick back in his face and never ran a decent race today. Now he ran a smart race. So, um, yeah, and I think this chappy, when he settles down a bit, yeah. we're still quite nervous. And I think when he settles down and, and, and learns what it's all about, we might have some fun with him. I will say he's a very a horse that when you, the word athletic comes to mind when you look at him, there's a lot, so much to like about the way he moves. 100% nice. You know, and he came down in great condition from Joey, my old mate, up in Joburg, and uh, just well done to Solly and to Faisal. Well, very well done to them. Lots to smile about as Marilyn comes on over to present you at the Racehorse Owners Association member. 15,000 Rand to add to that. Lift it up. There you go. <laughs> Check and everyone see that 15 grand. <laughs> there you go. Thanks so much, Marilyn. Thank you, nice. And Gav, I can't let you run away. Your yard is in here. Huge form at the moment, going forward throughout a competitive afternoon. Horses that are singled out were Fiery Cliffs. You know who, who's got a chance at, at um, following up. He was gently dealt with at the weights. Kaya's Hope, hopefully back to best. And a horse like Great Melody, never out of it. No, it's, I think you touched on mm. probably the, the better runners. Um, they're going to need some luck. Great Melody is drawn Towards. very wide. The draw is a concern. Um, you know, it's going to be how, how, how much we take out of him to get him decent enough placed. You know, he's gone to 61 kilos now. No, he's a slightly lesser division, but he's got to carry the weight. Yeah. Um, Kai is coming back to himself after, after his, uh, um, you know, after his trip down to Cape Town and everything. He needed his last thought, plus it is a little further, so it's going to yeah. suit him. But I do feel he enjoys a long straight of the grass. So it's also going to be luck. And, and I mean, grazing the grass are top horse on this track. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to need some luck, mate. And Fiery Cliffs? She's in good form, whether it be poly or yes, turf, and she's always knocking. Brilliant. Gav, well done for this fellow, and we'll cross fingers for you for the rest of the day. No, thanks for your words. Thanks very much to Hollywood. Great to see the Gavin Smith team pick up where they left off, and it's a positive start for them to our new season, as Gimme a Diamond, new to the yard, comes through very well under jockey Craig Zaki.